everyone. I'm Melly with Native Entertainment, and today we're in the studio with Left to Rock. And for everybody that doesn't know who these guys are, introduce yourselves, guys. I'm Nick. I play bass. My name's Rich. I play drums. I'm Junior. I play guitar. I'm Al. I play guitar. I'm Andrew. I do vocals. Awesome. Um, well, describe you guys' um, sounds. Let them know who you guys are. We play what is called death metal, old school death metal. You know, but we don't want to be held to a certain genre, so we incorporate a lot into our music. Awesome. And where can they hear you guys at? Where do you guys play at? We play anywhere and everywhere. Parties, backyards, parking lots, anywhere. We play the launch pad, all the clubs, the local clubs. We travel. So. Cool. And I just saw on your guys' Facebook page that you guys were just recently in Chin Lee, right? Yeah. Yes. We played cool. there on Friday. It was a good turnout. And mm hmm very awesome. Awesome. What other bands like do you guys usually play with? Like, um, wow. Well, 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 at the and Chilling, where were you guys uh, with? A couple of bands that we know, like uh, the Creeping Puppets, Creeping Puppets, mm -hmm. um, Unsheathed. Those are the ones that we know that we played with before. Thanks. And where can we hear your um, your music at? Other than where you guys usually play at? Uh, on our um, websites, we have a Facebook page. We have a Reverb Nation page. We have mm -hmm. recently our first album is now on iTunes. You can get it there. But a lot of free download sites and a couple of labels here and there. So. Oh, cool. And you guys have albums out? Yes, we do. Yeah. Is that where else? We got two. We got one in 2007, which is Bathe in Blood. And mm -hmm. that one's the one on iTunes. And in 2011, we released Crown and Deception. Oh, nice. And the names of your albums, where do you guys come up with the, the names and the concepts and stuff? For the uh, names? It just varies, you know, lyric-wise. Like, Crown of Deception is uh, kind of like what was going on in the church with all the priests. So I just kind of added a little twist to it. So I call mm -hmm. it the Crown of Deception, kind of being like what is supposed to be holy really isn't if you take a good look at it, you know. So yeah. it kind of just varies within the lyrics and stuff like that. Oh, awesome. And also, like, you have a new video that just came out, right? Yes. Yeah. We've been cool. for a couple months now. Yeah. yeah. And you can watch that on YouTube? Oh, yeah. It's on YouTube. Left, the number two, rock, perverse dissection. Cool. And we can also watch that, too, also on the website at anymagazine.net. So you can also check that out, too. Um, and... Shit. Uh, <laughs> I forgot what else we were going to talk about. Um, let's see here. Um, and... Oh, also, where well, when you guys do travel, where, well, how else do you guys do that? Do you guys just pack up everything in a van? Like, how do you guys do it? Like, uh, we take a big entourage. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> what does that all conclude? Yeah. Kind of he depends. goes in his car. I go in my truck. I go in his car. Yeah. Yeah. This guy's the bummer. <laughs> yeah. These guys walk. <laughs> oh, so you guys. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys, what? Like who? Like how? Long, how old is is the band? Left to Raw is like 10 years old officially. Uh -huh. You know, it started with me and Junior, you know, just jamming on some riffs, you know, getting together, playing. Yeah. And, you know, it turned into something really worth pursuing. So uh -huh. we kind of stuck with it and just kept writing and writing. And uh, we've been through a lot of member changes. You know, we had like five different singers. You know, I was a drummer. Yeah. You know, I moved to bass. Rich came in, took over the drums, and we, we just kind of incorporated that, the core. And yeah. this is our band right now, the two new members, Andrew and uh, Al. Yeah. So, and this is Left to Rock. Nice. Well, everybody can also check it out. Um, like I said, you can check them out on their Facebook page, on Rever Nation. You can also go to the Any Magazine Net um, to also check out their YouTube page. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I also said that wrong. Um, <laughs> Damn it. Made it uh, came in magazine. We're on there too. Yes. <laughs> there there you go. <laughs> right there. Um, you can also go to the website um, anymagazine.net to check out their YouTube video um, and just follow them on their Facebook page to see where they're gonna go. So. Have you ever had any male gangbangs? <laughs> 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 oh my god. Okay. Oh. <laughs> They're the pros on the Okay. <laughs> Alright, so you guys are going to be performing live here in the studio. So, what songs are you guys going to be playing for us today? Okay, we have one uh, called Grotesque Deformity. Mm -hmm. And what that's about is 
uh, basically heroin use. Mm -hmm. You know, if you read the lyrics, it's just uh, about a person doing heroin and what it does to a body over time to this person. It's kind of like screaming, like, save me from myself because I can't stop. Mm -hmm. You know, that's basically what that grotesque deformity is about. Um, we're going to perform a perverse dissection. It's uh, basically about, like, Jack the Ripper, okay. kind of that type of thing. It, um, it's like they, they found this guy who was killing all these people and dissecting them, but mm -hmm. they never really found who, who he was, you know? Yeah. So we kind of based it off of that, you know, that one, and... We like horror. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you'll, you'll, you'll know in our in our um, lyrics and stuff, we're really into, like, horror movies and that kind oh, of horror. Nice. All that genre. Of yeah. Any horror movie, even the campy ones. The campy ones. Yeah. So, <laughs> the real campy you know. ones, and even the real, even the yeah. ones that are just the... Thrillers, a suspense one. You know, that's yeah. it. You know, I mean, we get our ideas from books. You read books, you know, mm -hmm. just newspapers. You know, we have a, like on the new album, we have a, based on some, some facts that happen, you know, here and there, you know, we're kind of getting ideas from. So it just varies. It varies. Yeah. Cool. So. All right. Well, oh, sorry. There's like this <laughs> bug that keeps buzzing all over me. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. <laughs> it's right there. It just. All right. Lie down. Um, in the studio. <laughs> uh, what else are we supposed to get into? Uh, Music. Death metal divas. Death <laughs> no. metal divas. Okay. Okay. So you were talking more about um, like books that you mm -hmm. had. So like, what kind of books did inspire you to? Well, like for our last record, I really got into like, uh, you know, like like the murder books. You know, mm -hmm. you read on these people because I have a song called uh, "River of Dead Bodies." It's about a guy named Fritz Harmon, who for a long time was taking in transients mm -hmm. and actually killing them and dicing their meat and serving them to people. He had a meat shop, mm -hmm. and nobody ever knew until there was kids playing in the river behind his house, and they found you know skulls and body bones and stuff so the cops went and swept the river and that's how they found out what he was doing and that's basically where I got the river of dead bodies you know just stuff like that it was mainly like yeah Jack the Ripper that book mm -hmm. stuff like that you know murder uh -huh. horror oh nice and uh, also like you, you mentioned the movie so like uh what was the movie? I think we just take general ideas sometimes, or we'll just talk about things between band practice and stuff. Mm -hmm. These guys will get ideas, or write lyrics, or whatever, or we'll say, hey, that's a cool idea, or, or like, have you seen this movie, or mm -hmm. whatever, and we'll go on out of discussion, or whatever. Most of the time, it's stuff we can relate, you know, we've all seen, or something. Yeah. Sometimes, even it's even just dialogue in a movie, sometimes we'll hear, and we're like, wow. You just piece trip. it together. Yeah, yeah. Nice. So we're pretty much into most. <laughs> horror movies and stuff like that you know, we all grew up where it was like man that's a sick movie well now it's you're just like man that's some cheesy cheesy mm. <laughs> cheesy just <laughs> cheesy cheesy ass yes, you know, Hollywood type now, movie right? yeah it's computer generated now but, yeah but back then it was so cool just some gory yeah. type <laughs> music mm -hmm. yep. nice and you just transform it into oh, your yeah. music then we basically get our own stories from yeah. mm -hmm. what we see or read so. kind of how people when they ask us well, what do you guys are your band like or what do you sing about I just tell them just think of your favorite scary movie and that's the soundtrack <laughs> nice <laughs> cool there you go cool cool yeah. cool so what song are you guys going to play for us? Grotesque Deformity. Awesome. So we'll be right back after these messages. Welcome back, everybody, to Native Entertainment Magazine. This is Left to Rot, and this is Grotesque Deformity.
This next song is a turtle.
Det er altså blevet ned under mor. Det er ikke det. 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 Det What's up, Native? Hello. <laughs> What's up, Native Entertainment? We are Left to Rock coming at you live. The song is a tall. <laughs> What's up, Native Entertainment? We are Love to Rock, coming at you live from NEM Studios. The song is called Digging Up a Grave.
was left to rot. To find out more, go to Native Entertainment. Good night, everybody. Woo.